Alrighty guys, this is gonna be step one on how to begin your Chuck Close self-portrait. I'm just gonna go over how to make a grid and how to start transferring your image into the grid. In the next video, I'm gonna go over how we could start shading using ink wash and also some different pen and ink techniques. So I just put this up here if you guys wanna reference it. We're gonna be working on an 18 by 24 inch paper. Our drawing space is gonna be 15 by 21 meaning we're going to have a one and a half inch border and then a one and a half inch grid inside that border. So it seems like a lot of math, but really when you break it down, it's not all that much. Um, you also are going to each be starting with a five by seven photograph of yourself. On this photograph, we are going to be making a half inch grid. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to go in with a ruler. I have already done it in one direction, but I'm going to go in from the opposite direction now and just show you guys how to create a nice even grid all throughout. So I'm just going to take my ruler and you guys just want to measure every half inch and you're going to do this. Oops, I'm sorry, let me flip the other way. You're just going to go in and you are going to measure every half inch. So I'm going to start from the top and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to make little tick marks. Now on your photograph, you're going to want to draw your lines fairly dark. If you want to go over this with pen or marker or something afterwards, you can. You're just going to want to make sure that it's something that's fairly thin so that you're not blocking any of the major details on your face. I'm then going to go in from the other side and I'm going to do the same thing starting at the zero. I'm just making a tick mark every half inch. Oh, that's not a half. Make that at the six. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I am going to just connect those two. So just making a very simple basic grid along my whole paper. And like I said, I want to press really hard over my photograph so that I could see where my grid lines are. This is the method that Chuck Close used in his drawings and paintings. The reason we're making the grid so small is so that we could really get all of the details in and kind of focus on that photorealism that we were talking about in class. You can transfer images using a larger grid. Uh, for the purpose of this particular project, I want you guys to get something that looks very realistic. So the smaller the grid we're working with, the more we're going to be able to pull out those really fine-tuned details. Uh, when we go ahead and transfer it onto our larger grid. So we're going to be tripling this up. So we're going from half inch grid over our photograph to a one and a half inch grid on our paper. So I'm sure that you have all worked with grids before and kind of know the gist of it. When you're finished, you should have your grid and you should have it 10 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 by 14. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your large paper. Now I already started on this so that you guys didn't have to watch me go ahead and measure it throughout the whole video. So I'm just going to zoom out on it a little bit so that you guys could see I started it. Now you probably can't see it all that well in this video and the reason for that being is you want to make sure that you draw your lines very lightly. We're going to be going in and we're going to be erasing these grid lines when we're finished. So I use the same technique to go ahead and make my grid on my paper. And you want to just barely graze your pencil across your paper. Really focus on making these super light. I even made them a little bit darker for the video so that you guys can see it. So before you begin anything, you want to make sure that you have 10 
squares going across and 14 going down and then it matches to your photograph. If you do not have the right amount of squares, it's not going to work. So from here, some people find it helpful to go ahead and number your squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then just going ahead and labeling down the other way. If you feel like you don't need to do this and you just kind of want to match up your squares as you go, you're more than welcome to do that as well. So just a little bit about starting to transfer your photo to your paper. You want to make sure that you're really paying attention to the grid. We're using it for a reason. So I'm going to go in and I like to start at like somewhere that's an outline of my head so that I can get the basic outline in first. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find my eight. And the first one right here, it looks like my head's kind of coming in. So this is eight, seven, and I'm gonna just kind of start slowly drawing in my features. Now, this could just be a rough outline. You guys wanna make it really light with the graphite because it is gonna be a pen and ink drawing. We're just going in with pencil to start to kind of outline things and place things and get everything nice and even. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna work on this one more so I could show you guys in the next demonstration how you would start with ink wash. Um, but when you're all finished, this was one that I had started working on last year that I did not quite finish yet. But you guys can see that I have a basic overall outline in there. Um, I already started to go in on this one with ink wash. Um, but you could see just really light all my features are. Um, you can't really see anything. I just went in and I placed everything. You guys are going to want to include a background. You can also alter some things about yourself and take a look at some of the images in class. I actually started to turn my hair into tree branches in this particular drawing. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that again in my next one. Um, but hopefully this helped you guys just to get a grid and get your basic drawing in. In the next video, we'll go over how you can begin with ink wash and then how to start with some pen and ink techniques. Alrighty, thank you.